Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Play The Sims 2 University Life Part 1. I'm so excited for this series, can you tell? My name is Nicole K. For those of you that don't know who I am, I make Let's Plays for the Sims 3 expansion packs and then like a whole bunch of random other Sims 3 goodness videos featuring items from the store and other stuff packs. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to show you the four Sims that we'll be playing with for this series and then we'll get right into Let's Play. I'm very excited. The first Sim we have is Aubrey. She's very colorful and lovely and she's our cute little nerd girl and she wants to be a scientist yay so her traits are ambitious eco-friendly green thumb neat perfectionist and she wants to be a scientific specialist which means to reach level 10 in the science skill and also a level 10 in any scientific medical or business career so it says the universe is a mysterious place with even more mysterious rules governing it few can ever hope to understand such rules but those who live vicariously by collecting and analyzing samples will earn the title of scientific specialist and tell the rest of us how the universe works her favorite food is sushi, music classical, color green. Jukrali Unlatse? That is her voice, and she is a cancer. Next sim we have is Otis. He's our couched potato. His last name is Tato, not even kidding. Color scheme is blue. He's adorable. He's scruffy. Traits are computer whiz, friendly, good sense of humor, schmoozer, and slob. And his lifetime wish is the blog artist one, which means to reach level 10 in social networking skill and create a five star blog. A successful blogger captivates their audience and leaves them yearning for the next post. It's not easy to combine witty observations and impeccable timing, but someone's got to keep the net what netizens entertained. The one who does will earn the title of blog artist. His favorite food is cheesesteak, music, geek rock, and color is gray. Ebly Condoroy. That's his voice, and he is an Aries. Next him is Ellie. She's our adorable little rebel girl with her dreads. Oh, I love the hair. I cannot tell you how much I love them. Traits are artistic, avant-garde, kleptomaniac, vegetarian, virtuoso, and her lifetime wish is street credible, which is reach level 10 of the street art skill and create seven masterpiece murals. For a street artist armed with a spray can, the world is their canvas waiting to be painted. It takes a keen eye and a steady hand to create masterful art on the walls and ground but a street artist wouldn't have it any other way her favorite food is fruit parfait music is rock which is actually from 70s 80s 90s stuff pack i know sorry this is her voice rips on newbie and she is an aquarius this strapping young lad's name is Marco. He is our athletic kind of jockey-ish guy, but he likes to get all the ladies and excel in class. I don't know. He's ambitious, athletic, brave, irresistible, and a party animal. His lifetime wish is perfect student, which is earning a university degree with a perfect GPA. Hard, I know. Earning a university degree is an accomplishment all in itself, but to take to earn one with a perfect GPA takes as much brawn as it does brains. Late nights will be spent studying and a little Little luck will be needed to pass exams, but it's worth it for a perfect GPA. Favorite food, hamburger. Music is indie. Color is brown. Let a girna vita sici. That's his voice, and he is a Sagittarius. So after I created the family, I just moved them into Riverwood, which is a free town from the Sims3.com, and I figure uh, it would just be a simple place to live. You just buy a tiny little lot so you can save all your money for university, and that's exactly what I wanted to do because we're going to be spending most of our time in university anyway so I was like eh, why not and then once your game loads it says check out your smartphone your phone has been upgraded and can now send text use social networking skill apps swap phone skins and even has improved cameras be sure to use the phone to check out the new social groups and they are um, nerd rebel and jock so let's get into the let's play now we're gonna send them off to university after we take the aptitude test Alright, so first things first, I want to check in their inventory to see if they got any goodies from starting, because some people do. Um, I think, yeah, the artists do get the street art kit. I'm not sure if it's from the Street Credible Lifetime Reward or if it's because she is avant-garde, but nonetheless, we got it. And we are going to tag, see, you can tag a wall. You start off small and then you get uh, a lot larger area to work with, and we're going to do a medium one. And this will actually count towards her aptitude test when she takes it and she might get some extra credits so this is going to be amazing because you need 48 in order oh, look at the mascot because you need 48 in order to get your degree i believe and look at look at him or her i don't know clifton hannah strutting his way on over here he is level seven jock oh my gosh you know what that means him and marco have to be besties so let's um ask so let's chat and then let's ask him to hang out we can't invite him inside why are you clapping 
What are you doing, you weirdo? Uh, hi, your friendly Sims University mascot is here to spread some school spirit. I also bring the university welcome kit, which has useful university information and fun freebies. Gosh, university was said three times in there. Ooh, it says school pride. A few things bring Sims together, like celebrating a big sports win or a presence of a mascot. Marco burns with pride from university mascot, and he's intrigued from, oh, from gossiping. And he's a phone junkie, apparently. Being addicted to your phone is an always a bad thing information and friends are at your fingertips 24 7 i kind of agree with that i'm not gonna lie so i'm going to you know what no let's not have marco do that we want aubrey to go get dibs on it because she's like you know she, she's just dying to take that test in order to go to university and look at ellie oh my god she's going to get she just freaking leveled up her her street art skill as a street artist the word is ellie the world is ellie's canvas and nothing can escape a random act of art i thought it disappeared out of the corner of my eye put up a street art kit in your inventory and paint the town we already have a street art kit and it looks like aubrey has uh, some new gear she picked up a university banner and a cool new t-shirt <gasps> wow Ooh, and she's taking the test oh my god it actually looks like a test that's so cool <laughs> oh i love it i love it okay so anyway, let's see what everybody else can do. How about we have you, Otis, come over here, get some freebies, take the test. Marco, uh, I will have him come over here, get some freebies, take the test. And then Ellie, how about you... Uh, ooh, look, she got plus six science and medicine credits. So it says, congratulations on your aptitude test score. Ah, la la la. No scholarship awarded. Unfortunately, we have a terrible aptitude score. But at least we get six points towards our overall credits, which is amazing. So we're going to use a computer smartphone to roll, enroll. We will do that soon. Oh, look, he's waving his university pride flag. Yay. Otis Tato. <laughs> I still can't get over his last name. I made it Tato because he's a catch potato, you know? I don't know. Has some sweet new gear. He got a banner and a t-shirt, and it looks like Marco got the same thing. How lame. Why don't they give us new stuff? So, Ellie, once you're done, let's get some university freebies and take the aptitude test. And it also looks like uh, urban work of art with some spray paint and a healthy dose of moxie. Oh, I love that word. Ellie beautified her neighborhood. She's putting some gangster writing up in her hood. I'm going to clean it up, though. Why are you yelling at her? Why are you doing this to me? Oh no. And it looks like, who is this? Otis Tato. <sighs> Fail. He didn't even get anything for technology. Oh, he got more for technology and communications though. But, um... Still, that kind of sucks. We don't get no credits. That's fine. How about you apologize? Friendly. Ask about career. Be nice to him. All right. Even though he yelled at you, he doesn't really like you. But I want to see Ellie clean up her street art because this is our home after all. We want it to look nice. And Marco Cap didn't get anything. He got something for physical education, communications, and business. But uh, I think I'm going to have him take the physical education one. Use a computer. Why does it keep telling me to do that? I'm taking everybody to freaking university. <laughs> All right, Ellie, come on. I'm putting in speed four so we can hurry it up and get to university already. Distinguished Fine Arts Award. Ooh. Plus 18 Fine Arts credits. She got 376 out of 400. Oh my god, speechless. Ooh, she did amazing. No scholarship awarded though, unfortunately, but still, she did better than anyone. That's surprising, but it's probably because she did her little mural over here, uh, which I want her to clean up. Oh, she could also critique it because she is avant-garde. And it says, preparing for university. Ellie finished her aptitude test. She is excited to show off her acceptance letter and give out farewell hugs. Oh, you can give out farewell hugs. Where is it? Oh, right there. Farewell, 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 farewell. Oh my god, I can't say it. I'm gonna put this in Marco's inventory because I want to keep the bag of goodies and maybe we could keep it as a souvenir, you know. Uh, so hurry it up. What are you doing? Browse the web? Fine, browse the web. You know what? Otis actually has to work on his social networking, social networking skills, so I'm gonna have him browse the web and stream a video. Oh no, I missed it. I'm gonna have her do it to Aubrey now because I, I totally miss it. Oh my god, what happened? Why does why is that a negative moonlit? A mood yeah, negative interaction. Oh so look at Aubrey. <laughs> She's so sad. I'm gonna miss you girl. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you know, spending these five minutes that we've actually spent together because we've never lived here before. Uh okay, so let's leave. Let's go. Let's go to university. I'm we're out of here. Enroll in university. Alright. Come on, speed it up, Ellie. What is taking you so long? <laughs> With this freaky mascot. Silly llama hat. Ugh. 
so scary. So I want everybody to go and I don't want to overwhelm myself so I'm sticking with six credits but we're going to stay there for two terms which is actually two weeks worth of credits and degree progress 48 out of zero. Oh, we have no credits right now. Uh, so yeah, we're on Ellie. We want to do fine arts for Ellie. Look at that. That's a lot that we have already done. Otis wants to do technology. Um, Aubrey wants to do science and medicine. And Marco wants to do physical education. So that looks good, right? I don't want to mess anything up. Let me double check. Science and medicine, technology. All right. Uh, looks good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm all ready. Are you sure you want? Yes, I do want. Duh. Gosh, why wouldn't I want? Oh my god, where did all this money come from? <laughs> you just enrolled in the university, enrolling in uni. Also, earn your household some extra money. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. We just got four hundred simoleons just for enrolling in university. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like we're going now. Ta-ta. <laughs> Ta-ta, my lovely friends. Bye, house. I'm gonna miss you the most. <laughs> I'm so sad we have to leave our empty lot. <laughs> Look at this car, this truck. Look at this beast of a truck. It's like a U-Haul. Okay, let's go. I want, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. So, yay. Oh, loading screen. Oh, I'm excited. Who's excited? Yay! Look at university. Look at how amazing it is. The campus is awesome. I really wish somebody would rebuild the Hogwarts school and then make all the awesome people. But um, if you didn't know, this is actually sort of like a World Adventures vacation area where it's kind of like outside your hood, but you still get to be there. I don't know. Does that make sense? But look at this huge place. Isn't this incredible? It's ginormous this this is a pretty big place and there's a little spot over here that we're going to visit soon maybe in another video and you'll see why then but there's all these extra houses along the side I think there's a sorority somewhere over here but we can't go because we have males and females uh, there's also a fraternity somewhere and then there's houses you can rent but I really don't want to do that I kind of want to dorm with people so let's just find a place Ooh, okay um i've seen this one so i don't want to use that one and this one looks like it's a little too far from campus so i'm gonna go ahead and snag de onda de onda hall and it costs zero to rent oh hell yeah that's what i'm talking about okay so we're gonna rent it going in going in <gasps> you excited guys oh i don't know excited is like the best word i can use to describe it now that you have arrived you may want to take a minute to select the bed you want to claim and redecorate your room don't forget to set the lock options on your door okay good good oh and this is our like bulletin board our job board basically so you can go ahead and get uh, money for doing dares social group jobs and day jobs which is awesome because it's a way to make money in university so before i choose or beds let's have like a little look around this place is actually really nice it looks so tidy looks like um we have two fridges we're living the life oh my god <laughs> oh okay i think i want to move i want them boys no i think i want ellie and marco to room together and then maybe otis and aubrey to room together unless they're single bedrooms oh <gasps> that could be an option that could be an option is there is that a single one no i don't want to live over there because i have a feeling i'm going to stay at this camera angle and having a mirror in the way is like the most annoying thing so let's just have uh who no i don't i guess i could change stuff around though to be fair so how about you come over here i guess you can sleep in this bed maybe no don't sleep with that bed you know what i'm gonna have um you claim this bed set bed ownership aubrey and then maybe Otis, he can go over into his own room. There was one up here, right? Yeah, he wants to be alone. So bad ownership to Otis. And then how about Ellie? She can go up here and set bed ownership to hers. Ellie, Ryan, and then I guess Marco can go sleep over here. Set bed ownership, Marco. Or you know what? No, let's just have Otis freaking sleep over here. God, okay. Why is this so difficult? <laughs> okay, Otis, there. Now that we're done with that, let's go and see what's around here. I don't know. Um, I've never seen this dorm, actually, so there's a ton of computers. Ooh, this guy looks almost exactly like Marco. <laughs> Just blue. That is so weird. Ooh, and he's a rebel, too. Okay, let's have Ellie introduce yourself. Friendly introduction. All right, and I thought I saw a bonfire pit. Yes, I did. We're going to light this sucker right now. Light it. Then we're going to throw some uh, test tubes on it, which actually looks really awesome. Oh, we got some bikes too. Are these ours? Oh, 
Yay, we can take these bikes. Let's make it our preferred vehicle. I hope they use them. Uh, you can have this one, Otis. Aubrey can have this green one. Of course, because look at look, she, it matches her. Okay, so he's lighting the fire. I want to have him add wood. Just add a ton of wood because it makes it like really big and it looks pretty cool. So let's just keep on adding wood until it gets bigger. There we go. There we go. Add more wood. No? Yes? Okay, let's just stop adding wood. And then let's throw a test tube at it, which is like probably one of my favorite things for the bonfires. It just looks really pretty. Depending. Okay, well that one looked kind of gross, but that looks cool nonetheless. Let's throw another test tube. Maybe it'll be blue this time. <gasps> oh my god! I'm a freaking future teller! It was blue! <laughs> that looked pretty. Kind of like ice. Ooh, he smells. Sims don't like to stink? Why did I smell? Because of the bonfire? Yeah, bonfires can kind of make you smell. So, can you want to take a shower or something, I guess? Uh, it's- he's like smelly forever though oh because he's still smelly oh my gosh <laughs> that's like a base game thing and i have no idea what it is so you need to work on your social your social skill social networking skills so we're going to browse the web stream video nope browse the web i don't think you could do it on the computer that's why uh study check weather chat i wonder if chatting helps towards it i don't really know Okay, so what about you, Aubrey? What are you going to do? I'm so excited to start this series. I know this is like the first one that we're pretty much in the series, but close bed. Oh no, don't close bed. Please don't die. I really don't want you to die because you can actually die from it. Okay, yeah, well, it looks like she got stuck. Good job, Aubrey. <laughs> That's what you get for trying. <laughs> Silly Billy. I want to go somewhere right now, though. I, I don't remember what I was saying, believe it or not. Can we actually buy a car? <gasps> Can we use these? No. Oh, they're not real. They're not real. That would have been so awesome if we could. Oh, she got a skin. I didn't even look in their inventories. Okay, let me pause it so I can look at this stuff. So she got a them bones anatomy skeleton guy. And um, it works towards the science degree. You actually get, I think, the science skill. I could be wrong or maybe logic. I don't know. And uh, you, Otis, he got the cerebralizing brain enhancing machine 1.0. There's another version that's like 10 times better. And it's also like five times the cost. <laughs> and I kind of want to get that one day um i don't think we have any room for it though yeah i don't think we have room for it in the room unless i take out the telescope which i probably will but maybe i'll do that off camera it looks like marco got the same thing probably for anatomy to know the muscles and something maybe i don't even know now you're going next to the fire you smell too gosh dang it i guess i guess it does make you really stinky possibly she got a internal reflection sketchbook oh yeah you could practice sketching and then they all got backpacks of course and then their fight song flag and a book that you can study from so she got trash's treasure <laughs> finding art and keeping it marco got a reflexology Ooh, training muscles otis motorology getting your engine running and then she got discovering your own intelligence which is smart uh well duh it's smart of course so let's see what ellie draws something good i hope and you can actually um sketch nude sims oh okay i was wondering when this is going to happen so we're going to the university meet and greet and we actually get morphe bed clinophobia cl cl clinophobia why can't i read that Falling Murphy beds will leave a lasting impression on unsuspecting Sims. Aubrey's being extra cautious around dangerous Murphy beds. I'm so scared because she got smushed in it. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I was wondering when we're going to this because you can get some freebies and also get to see all the other types of objects for majors and stuff. I don't know. I hope I'm making sense. So it looks like everybody's heading on over. All right, let's go. What is taking you so long? Oh, look, they're, they're, they're trying to see, they're racing, they're racing to the front door. Who's going to make it? I don't know. It looks like, oh, it looks like Aubrey did. How the heck did that happen? Is this the same mascot? No. Andrew Law. Ooh. See, look at all this stuff we can get. So how about Ellie, get freebie, university poster, candy bar, soda, flying disc, kicky bag. <laughs> let's get a kicky bag let's play kicky bag right now guys <laughs> that's so funny all right and you aubrey i want to have her come over here and use this machine i forgot what this machine was called if i hover over it it doesn't say anything but if you research science which is good because you need it for your your degree um for science and medicine you learn the science skill from it 
and what about you otis technology so i guess all we have to do for him is study our brain and i was gonna drink diet coke no what we have to do is read our books and i actually need marco to start doing that now because he needs to Ooh, you are cute oh <gasps> she's a rebel oh my gosh let's become her bestie friendly introduction oh look at her i love it when women have no hair or bald heads it just looks so cool to me for some reason i don't know all right let's go let's go introduce ourselves wait where is she going come on friendly introduction weirdo uh marco needs to start studying so the faster he studies the more he'll learn and then the the better his his class will be his class i forgot what it's called um <laughs> you'll see once he actually starts attending class you get a a bar that shows you how well you're doing so for these whiteboards you can do a whole bunch of stuff for different majors as well so he can make a chart for, for a schmoozer solve an equation Ooh, let's have you solve an equation and ellie can also draw something too but i kind of want her to become a rebel so i'm gonna have where the heck are you so i'm gonna have her talk to her no friendly apologize 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 please no don't do this to me um, chat. Can we chat with her? Okay, good. God, I was getting so scared. Rex Loveless invited Odor, Otis, <laughs> Odor, <laughs> to an upcoming bonfire party. Uh, yeah, we'll be there. Whoa, that guy was kind of old. <laughs> Weird. All right, and these are also vending machines, which you can get stuff from, of course, but I really want to become friends with her. Stop being mean to me, woman. Why are you so evil? More talk about you talk about how cool i am <laughs> what why are you so narcissistic oh yes yes score rebels are an artsy type of sim that challenged the status quo uh oh i just missed what that said so we can check our our status check social groups so there is a nerd one and in order to get like nerd cred i guess you could say you just have to follow all these things that it says to do and then for your stats you just do these and then it stacks up all your stats and you get 10 points i guess it does it in five but that's pretty cool oh look she's already got one point so um well we haven't i don't think we've really accomplished anything we're just friends with somebody and this guy ooh, <gasps> Derek khan I'm gonna call you and we're gonna become love interest people anyway and then there's jocks which I want to have Marco do and I think I want to have Aubrey become a nerd because it just fits her and it's cute I think that'd be adorable I love her all right so that is the very first part i hope you guys enjoyed it in the next one we're gonna do a ton of stuff hopefully we'll be able to go um to class have some fun doing that and then meet new people get more uh, status things what is it called social groups maybe freaking otis will get his gosh dang social networking skill up so he can get a blog because that has not happened yet i don't know why <laughs> and then marco he's going to be studying oh it looks like he's already studying so you can also study from the book too by the way and you can also make a, a cheat sheet which you can get in trouble for and it's pretty bad <laughs> if you get caught so yeah i'm gonna go now uh next video not sure when it'll be because i gotta i've gotta figure out my schedule but i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for the next one we're gonna do a ton more stuff and oh yeah otis is halfway to the ne uh, social skill social networking skill how come i can never say that i don't know <laughs> all right i will talk to you later bye everyone